what's up today my fellow mass soldiers so in this video we're gonna go over everything when it comes to the season four and we're gonna go over a few more things we're gonna see how far we can level up just based on the things that we got right now i'm gonna show you guys what's worth what's worth to do what's worth doing right now and what's um worth not doing right now so quite a bit to get into so let's go ahead and get it um get right into it all right so once i logged in they gave me two packs they gave me a snickers welcome pack and then they gave me a season four um season four welcome pack right and that welcome pack they they gave me this fantasy pack which contains I don't know how many players, but it's quite a bit of players. We'll go over them right now. And they also gave me, I think, an 87 overall upgrade token. So these are 86s. Yeah, so they gave me an 87 overall upgrade token to go with it. So that's actually all right. I want to say that's a big win, but pretty decent. Not not um, not too crazy. But these are the cards that when you when you uh, log into MUT today or whenever you're going to log into MUT for the Season 4, this is the welcome pack that they're going to give you. I don't know. I'm decide, I'm going to decide who I'm going to use right now. I'm, I don't even know if I'm going to pick anyone if I really need to. And I'm definitely not going to fully upgrade a, a player right now, which I'll get into in a minute. But let's go over here. Go uh, to season four of the pass. And uh, let's knock out a few things. All right. So we got the daily objective still intact. Oh, wow. What's, what's all this about? They should just give us our like here's a thousand, two thousand like. So now they're gonna keep it like this. Hold on, what's one, two, three, four, five? That's what we're getting anyway, right? So they just break it up and I mean I guess that's cool, right? So for some odd reason you guys are playing and and you're just like you know I, I can't I, I can't do the few other objectives. At least you're getting some type of rewards for season XP. So you know what I'm not gonna knock this. It's actually a, in my opinion this is actually a win because some people are playing the game and then they say for instance once again you're not you're not able to fully complete the objectives and it tells you that you got up to 6,000 season xp um you're not able to cause you know sometimes they'll tell you get 25 passes and you got to get all the 25 passes to get just to get the xp in general so what this is doing is as you're playing the game the first one is 15 passes the second one is 20 pass i'm mean, sorry the first one is five passes 10 completed passes, then 15 completed passes. So basically you're getting XP as you're starting to complete each objective, which to once again, it's a win because if you're not able to knock them all out today, at least you got some type of, of XP. So to me, that's a win, same thing with this one. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give EA that. That's a win right there. And I didn't even realize it, that's a win until I really had a look at it. So I'm not even gonna knock that. So you could get XP from that. We're gonna go ahead and open up our daily pack. Okay, so that's all it is. It's fine. Them, them one coin packs are all a win, so I, I don't ever complain about them. Of course, I always hope, always hope to pull something decent, but it is what it is. Yeah, I wasn't trying to leave the field pass, so let me go back in here and do a few more things. All right, so that's the daily objectives for today. We still got the daily milestones, so we will be, we will still get the daily coin pack as well as the strategy item. I know that seems to be like. Well, that's usually what we know we got that coming. Believe it or not, you'd be surprised. EA will drop something, won't even tell you. And next, next you know, we kind of find out something's not in the game. So I'll, that's why I let you guys know this is still in the game, which is a good thing. Um, Cause you just never know with EA. All right, so now they got the, they, still, they, they got a week one objective, which is cool. So you'll be able to probably level up uh, several levels a day or whenever you complete these, you'll be able to level up quite a few levels. So that's not bad. And then you got the season four set. So here's the thing about unique about this you could complete it three times the people who have the free free pass you should be able to complete it up to two times those who have the premium pass for what i know you should be able to complete it up to three times so if you guys see me only able to complete it two times it's because i didn't buy the premium pass so let's go to program all right not go to yeah we'll program we'll season pass here we go season four so before I even click on it, I'm gonna show you guys how much. So I got two, yeah. So those who got the premium pass have three, which is fine. I mean, they, they hooked them up with something. They're paying money. You give them some extra extra AP or something. So that, that's cool. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna complain about it. They gave us two. Hey, I'm, I'm okay with that. Some more tickets and then um, that. Oh, another thing too for those who, because um, I didn't touch upon it real quick. And I know those who are gonna wanna know. If you guys seen how much tickets I have, 
I definitely just didn't get those today. The tickets up there, my tickets, I had over 8,000 tickets. They transferred over from season three to season four. I know some people were trying to say that theirs didn't transfer, transfer over. I don't know why or how. And I'm not saying that theirs didn't transfer over this season. I'm saying that people were telling me in season one and season two, their tickets didn't transfer over. As you guys see right there, my tickets did transfer over. I had over 8,000. And at this moment, I'm just gonna hold on to them. So, but I, I do wanna let you guys know that that did happen just in case you guys were curious. So I wanted to answer that real quick, just in case I, I tend to forget. Again, I got more tickets right there. Just, just by those tokens. I didn't even grind or nothing today. So I'll get more when I grind. All right, that's a, okay. So that's all I got. That's fine. And we're gonna go check out the tickets and everything else in a minute. So let's back out. We're not back out, but back out of there. Let's go to the milestones. So yeah, we I won't be able to get the other one because we don't um i don't have the i don't have a third token but those who bought the premium fill pass you guys will be able to get it now let's go over here and talk about this premium pro pass free up uh, premium premium fill pass look at here i'm not gonna knock it i'm not gonna tell people don't buy it it's not worth it. i'm not gonna tell you guys that if you guys really look at everything 15 dollars for this premium pass um you'll be able to get quite a bit if you're gonna spend, I'm gonna tell you guys this, if you're gonna spend money on a game or if you're like, oh, I'm gonna spend money anyway, $15 ain't nothing, or you plan to spend money, 15 bucks is not bad to get what you're gonna get out of here. You'll get more tickets. I'm gonna go through it for you guys for those who just, just for those who can't see or didn't see. Look at, you're gonna be able to pick, this right here, it's not worth it just to get this unless you're just desperate to hurry up and get um, Trayvon Diggs, but you do get Trayvon Diggs or Stefan Diggs, whatever one. You, you'll be able to pick, uh, just says choose one of the two players. So you'll be able to get those early if you guys decide to uh, buy the premium pass right now. These are automatically. Then you'll get an 89 overall BND Fantasy Pack, um, 88 overall upgrade token, 86 plus, 86 plus overall fantasy, which I think that's, that's not bad and 80 plus overall uh, platinum so just off this alone honestly just off these uh, four technically you're kind of like getting your money back in a sense if you if you really want to be technical so it's not bad all right it's not bad i'm not gonna buy it i don't really care for it like it would have had to really to me it would have had to be released i don't see to me personally i don't really care for what they're offering that's just on my honest opinion but in the end it's not bad and then you got those who are smart about it. They'll wait until the end of the program or end of the season to make sure they fully get all the levels. Then they'll buy it and then they'll get all the rewards. So yeah, for those who do want to know, you don't have to buy the premium um, pass right now. You could get wait to the end of the season and you'll get all the rewards still. That's the way it goes. That And if it didn't for some reason, that would be the dumbest thing on EA's part. But as I'm going through and I'm talking, I'm showing you guys what you guys are getting and what they're offering the premium rewards. There is some wins, which I'll show you guys in a minute. But once again, though, it's not bad. It's typical uh, pass, so I'm not going to say anything negative. So let's just go, and I'm just going over the packs. And as we go more towards the end, the coin rewards are going to be higher. So at level 26, you will get a tra you will be able to get a Trayvon Diggs or a Stefan Diggs. Once again, or you could get it automatically right away. If you do buy the pass, they'll give you the option instead of waiting all those levels. All right, here we go here. And then you get another one right here. So either way, you're going to get them no matter what ages you're going to have to wait. But they do offer them ahead of time because then we're the only cards that we're not able to get. Oh, there's another thing I'll show you is it right here. Yeah. So as you continue to level up more, they're going to give you more coins, right? As part, of, not only for free, but also as part of the premium pass. So you see 50,000 right there. There's an epic one right there. More tickets, which is cool. It's always good to get more tickets because they got some good players. They got a lot of players this season, honestly. So I will give them that. People may not agree with everything, which if I get you get 40,000 coins, which to me, I thought that was a win. Because even though, of course, we will want more, 40,000 is a lot more than what they were giving last season, right? So I don't remember them giving us that much coins. So look at another 20,000. That's the 20, this 20,000 is free. So there, there's a lot going on. And, and for those who don't know, it goes all the way to level 55. So if you get the, okay, if you get the premium pass, once again, for those who are saying it's not worth it, in my opinion, it is worth it. It's just not worth it to me because, I, once again, I don't care. If for some reason towards the end of the season, I change my mind, be like, you know what? I could use this because I want to do this, this, and this, and then I'll do it. But I, once again, I'm not telling you that it's not worth it. 
at this moment in time, I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing for me that I care for. So that's why I'm personally not going to get it. But for those who are will, will like to buy the premium pass or like to spend money on the game and um, don't mind it, I'm telling you right now, if you if you're pre people to keep on playing it and you enjoy it and, and you're going to spend money no matter what, the premium pass definitely is worth to get. I will say that. I would, of course, I would like to see more. We'll always like to see more. I don't see anything convincing for me, but like I said, I'm not going to hate on it or, or say anything bad. The only thing that that's frustrating in the game right now, and a lot of people are not, that I agree with, that I stand on, um, and I'm not going to go too much into it, is, is the Team Diamonds. Like, I was happy for the 95s. Like, I'm happy they dropped 95s, but to make it um, a lot hard to obtain, and, and it, to me, I just didn't see no purpose. It, it just didn't make no sense on why they, like, it, it didn't make no sense to me. But I'm not going to go too much into that and really complain like that. But yeah, that's what it is. All right, so let's go over here. Oh, let's go to the, we got to go back to the store. Because that's what I came over here for before I end it. We got the season tickets, right? I'm going to encourage you guys. I'm going to be honest with you. It go, the cards only go up to a 92 overall right now. So I would tell you guys right now, do not spend your tickets. I don't care if you want a 92 overall. I don't care. I'm telling you. And I very really, rarely say this. I'm telling you right now. I, I don't spend your tickets. You're gonna waste your tickets. Why? Because just like this last season and the season before, the value of these tickets are gonna drop. Are these of these tokens are gonna drop in tickets? So right now these are going for 1,300. This one's going for 875. I'm telling you later on, which it's a big win because later on they should drop. They're gonna be dropping more. They're gonna be dropping. So wait towards a little bit towards the end. Or wait until the 94 drops because there's no purpose to getting them right now because you're not going to be able to enjoy their full stats. So just hold on to your tickets. Unless you're going to buy some of these over here and you want to take a risk, that's on you. I wouldn't even encourage this, but if that's what you want to do, then, I mean, whatever, go ahead and do it. But for these right here, I will hold off because the tickets will get cheaper. And once again, look at If you're able to fully upgrade right now at this moment, one all the way up to a 94 overall, I wouldn't even knock it. Even if the tickets were a little bit more, I wouldn't even knock it because at least you get to enjoy the card right now. But because if you if you power one um power one power one up all the way up to a 92, the stats are not going to be as great because they're not the full version. So that's why I'm trying to tell you guys I wouldn't do that. Right. Um, overall, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't mind the season pass. Everything looks all right. It looks normal. Honestly, they gave us more we're not going to be able to fully upgrade every single player i mean that's the way it's looking like but there is a lot of players to choose from we will be able to, to obtain every player so once again what i told you guys towards the end of the season this season because there's so many players i would say to fully upgrade at least three of them and then if one of the positions um, that you upgrade you end up picking up somewhere else then you can take out those tokens and then upgrade one of your other players so that's why i don't mind these right to me it, to me um i the season pass looks looks cool to me the only thing that a lot of people a lot of us are just like it just kind of weird on is is the team diamonds but oh wow I'm just, i just won't get them right and I, I doubt a lot of people are going to be getting them like that so it is what it is um but everything else is looking all right i'm hoping they have a thanksgiving program it's not looking like that right now but i'm really hoping so because that that's really fun when they come out with it i don't know what their objective is or if they're are the all matter is going to be the thanksgiving version of it i don't know what they're going to do but hopefully we hear something. Anyways, until next time, I'm out.